What is up, YouTube? Faris here with another episode of our Raising a Chocobo series in Final Fantasy XI. You guys know the drill. We're at the Chocobo Stables in Southern Sandoria, and we're going to check on Fury today. Let's see how he's doing. I think you guys will like what you see, but let's see. Fury's actually, uh, he's had his ups and downs lately, man. Um, me and him have been going through a rough time, so I'm hoping he's better today. You know, yesterday, the past couple days have been kind of rough, but um, hopefully Hint Leon has some good news for us. Hello, Faris. I have some information to relay to you regarding Fury XI. Well, you know what? I'd like to hear a detailed report. Brace yourself, YouTube. You're about to see the awesomeness. Day 27, he's carrying packages. You know what that means. He's an adolescent now. And boom! You see him? You see that red on his head and his tails and his legs? He's going to be a red chocobo. That's right. I got the color I wanted. He's got that beautiful color. And uh, he's carrying them packages. The, see the... Oh, well, he, he dropped a couple along the way. You see, he's not the best package carrier in the world. But um, he, he gets the job done. It's all right. It's all right, Fury. I understand, man. Thanks for the Hunter Guild, dude. I appreciate that. So, the adolescent stage. See, he was injured. I think he was injured maybe from carrying packages so much. Um, but his injury is completely healed now. I fed him a little special green that, um, that healed his injury. Look, he's happy again. I'm so happy to see him happy because he hasn't been happy the last couple days. All right. I don't know if it's like this for all adolescent chocobos, but mine has been going through a tough time, just like humans do in their adolescence. Like, he's been irritated constantly, and then I have to have him compete to relieve his irritation. He's been sick. I had to feed him special food so he's not sick. And then he got injured, so I had to feed him special food so he's no longer injured. So now, he's finally back to his normal, little happy self. Let's ask about his condition here. The adolescence is a tricky stage for a chocobo though, because you can tell them stories, they can learn stories, but only if their um, discernment is high enough. And you see, if you look at my chocobo stats, I've been powering through the strength training and the endurance training and giving him strength and endurance food. So even though he's not even an adult yet, his strength and endurance is already at an average level for an adult chocobo, I think. Um, his strength and endurance is pretty good, but his discernment and receptivity is bottom of the barrel. So I've tried to teach him stories occasionally because I've read that you can get really lucky and they'll learn a story if they're like in high spirits or something. Um, even if their discernment isn't of, you know, adequate level. So he doesn't say, see, I've been checking his, um, status to see if it ever tells me that in this little dialogue that he's in really high spirits and really receptive to anything I'm going to give him because it used to say that kind of stuff and um, I, th I think that's what I'm going to try to teach him a story next if I don't well camera bugging out if I don't get that little message before whoops I need some more vomp carrots I got him in my mog sec if I don't get that message before he's got capped strength and um, endurance then I'm going to have to start feeding him intelligence food to go along with these bomb carrots, or actually not to go along with him. I'm going to have to do like a phase of training when he's an adult, I think, is when I'm going to wait to do it. Um, and I'm going to feed him intelligence carrots and have him like listen to music and stuff to get his discernment up a little bit. And once I do that, then I'll start teaching him stories again. Because right now, it's not, it's not really flying, I don't think. But I'll show you guys what I am doing right now just to get up his his strength and endurance more. So I'm three I'm feeding him three times Vomp carrots still. That helps with the strength and endurance, I think. Look, he, he's loving it, man. He's loving it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. So for care options, let's show you guys the care options. As an adolescent, you have a you actually have a ton of care options and you have a ton of care plants. But so we have watch over the chocobo. That raises their affection. You see? When, under his affection, if you were paying attention earlier, when you check their status, he tells you the affection. And mine, like, likes me a lot, or something like that. But I think that's actually two affection levels down from max. I think the max is they regard you as a parent, and then the one below that is they want to be with you all the time, and then the one below that is they like you a lot. 
So my affection has dropped quite a bit, and that's because I'm having him run packages all the all the damn time <laughs> to get up his strength and endurance. Because that, the care plan is what gets up their strength and endurance the most, I think. Taking them on walks helps, feeding them the right food helps, but those care plans is what gets it up the most. So in return, like his affection's gone down a little bit. That's all right. Uh, we're gonna keep rocking that out. So we have watch over the chocobo, that gets your affection back up. You can spam that if you wanna keep max affection. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Um, you have tell a story, that's to try to get them to learn stories. That's not a good thing to, to try to waste points on, or waste this little HP on rather, because you have a fixed amount of HP you can use each day. Uh, tell a story isn't really good for that unless you know they're going to be learning the story because you don't want to tell a story five times to a chocobo waste all his hp bar for the day and then him not even learn it you know scold the chocobo i have not used yet compete against others that's for if they're irritated uh go on a walk short go on a walk regular is what i do as long as he's in good health uh we'll do leisurely so i can do a i can do a longer walk now since he's an adolescent a lot of times you see NPCs out here, he makes friends, you know, sometimes he'll still find you items. Man, I love that samurai armor. What do you got, Fury? Nothing, we're just having fun in the theme. I think I'll take him for another walk after this. And then I'll show you guys the different care plans uh, for an adolescent. Ooh, see, that kills your endurance. I don't even know if I can do another one. That's how much that walk did. I don't even know if I can do another regular walk. Oh, I can, but this is going to be it for the day, man. He is going to be tired after this. And if, you, if you're wondering about the endurance, again, I'll mouse over it right now. It's this little HP bar down here above mine. Uh, those are like the points that you can, you know, each, each action you do with your chocobo per day takes down his HP. Watch it, watch it, watch it. It's going to shoot down because that was such a long walk. Boom, all the way down. So little things like watching over your chocobo take hardly any you see even though I only have this tiny bit um, I can still watch over him he looks happy to see me I'm happy to see you too fury I'm happy about that and I'm happy you're red and beautiful because that's gonna be great um, so that's it for today let's uh, let's show you guys the care plans so that's the last thing to cover for adolescence I think and I think adulthood is not much different than adolescence so I think this is about as complicated as it gets um, care schedule that's what I was talking about see I have it on all carry packages let's go to like plan four or something okay so we have basic care still which I think is good um, for affection I think rest and basic care give you affection bonuses taking a walk increases strength and endurance minorly I think I think listen to music um, increases discernment that's for if you want to raise their intelligence discernment equals intelligence all right i keep interchanging them but um that's for if you want to get them to where you can teach them stories uh which the stories are good by the way i i have the canter story which canter or it's canter or gallop i forget what it's called but it makes the chocobo run really fast you know so even teaching a story can like have a dramatic increase on your chocobo speed so I need to find a way to get my chocobo to learn this story sooner or later pretty sure they can still learn it in adulthood um, so that's what I'm planning on doing it after I cap strength and stuff like that because I figure I'll max affection around that time and I my logic is it's kinda harder to max affection when you're doing the strength training because he doesn't like you as much when you're forcing him to carry packages every day he still likes me just not as much and I feel like um, he'll learn the story better when he has capped affection, so I may as well just cap affection while he's listening to music and shit all the time, which will make him more able to learn the story. That's my logic. Um, exercise in a group and alone, I'm not sure what those do. Oh, I think in a group increases receptivity, and that's if you want to have a... Uh, that's, that's how your chocobo receives attention from other chocobos. And if you want to make a breeding chocobo, I think you spam that a lot. Not 100%. I didn't look too much into breeder chocobos. But you need to have them able to, quote, play well <laughs> with other chocobos. Um, interact with children and other chocobos is probably the same shit. Carry packages is what dramatically increases strength and endurance. It also decreases the other stats. 
like um like discernment for lear learning stories it decreases that shit well mine's already bottom of the barrels like i said so i don't really care about that another reason why i'm thinking about increasing that later because you know it's not like i'll be losing anything i might actually lose a teeny bit of strength but hopefully my strength is so high that it doesn't really matter and i can get it back up up easily anyway that's it so to review you got basic care of rest we went over these take a walk in town listen to music exercise alone and in a group interact with things and uh carry packages exhibit to the public i don't know what that does straight up but carry packages is what i've been having mine do uh because i want him to be a quick ass motherfucker and look at him he looks like a quick ass motherfucker he's a killer right yeah total badass little fury he's the best all right so i'm getting out of here um, this has been Faros raising his chocobo in the adolescent stages. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's not, you know, too much to it, but it's cool. It's cool because at the end of the day, I'm going to have four videos. I'm going to have one video showing you guys how to start it. Camera bug. One video in the chick stage, one in the adolescent stage, one in the adult stage. And then when I cap his stats, you guys are going to see me out riding around in the world on my super fast chocobo who's not going to be faster than those chocobos, but he's going to be red. So it's going to be way cooler, right? Right. And I'm going to be able to summon him, you know, in the world sometimes. So it's going to be great. I'm out for now, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and supporting the Final Fantasy series. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you'd like to help this series grow and if you'd like me to keep making these Final Fantasy videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. Favorite it if you really want to help me out. And uh, leave me a comment letting me know what you think. Until next time, you guys, I am out. You guys take care. Peace.